G'day legends and welcome back to another episode of The Hungry Hunter. Uh, in today's episode we have the old Friday night tradition, uh, fish and chips in the form of freshly caught whiting from yesterday which we're cooking up today. We're doing that in a tempura batter. We've got thick cut potato chips and our own homemade twist on tartare sauce. So without further ado, we'll get into it. Food is so much more than just what you put in your mouth. It's a connection to both the land and the sea and the animals we hunted to acquire it. This show is dedicated to sharing that lifestyle with you. We'll be sharing simple tips and tricks as well as our favourite recipes for wild game and seafood feasts. Cooking both out in the field and in the comforts of our kitchen at home. Welcome to Hungry Hunter. This season of Hungry Hunter is proudly supported by Dog and Gun Coffee, makers of bloody good coffee ready for adventure. So today's dish has three major components. Uh, the first is the potato chips that we're going to be doing. Um, it's the most time expensive, so we'll go and add these in now. Alrighty, so those potatoes are going to sit in that boiling water for about five or so minutes, which gives us just enough time to get our tartare sauce ready. And we've got here about half a cup of mayonnaise. We've got half a lemon, some fresh dill. We've got a little bit of kick here, and this is some Worcestershire sauce. It's barely anything, it's probably a quarter of a teaspoon. Some freshly chopped up capers. And then for a bit of kick um, and a little bit of texture and crunch, we've got a finely chopped up uh, pickle, and that's just really thin in there and you'll hardly notice it, but when you do have that sauce in there, it'll give you a little bit of a twang. Alrighty, so we'll give that a good stir. Alrighty, so that's our sauce. Everything's well combined and getting along together in there. Um, we're gonna chuck this in the fridge and then we'll get started with our fish. Alrighty, so that's been about seven minutes now and our potatoes are ready. Drop them in the strainer and we'll give them a little bit of a rumble and tumble and that will create them to sort of break down on the edges and that's what, once we put it in the oven, is gonna become nice golden brown and sort of that crispy texture of our uh, thick cut potato chips. I'm just gonna let them cool down for a second and we'll get them all seasoned up and in the oven. Uh, we've got our salt and pepper, which we'll just give them a bit of an even sprinkle. As you can see, every chip has been cut um, selectively just so that they're all the same size. Um, and that's just gonna help with the cooking process. Next, we've got some thyme. And lastly, just a bit of pepper. Just to finish that off and sort of get everything mixed together, we're gonna add a little drizzle of oil. You don't want to add too much because you don't want the chips to be too greasy, but you want them to be evenly coated so that they get nice and crispy in the oven. We'll just give that a nice little roll. Now we're going to line these just evenly on our baking tray. So those look great. So we'll chuck them in the oven, then come back. And I'm really excited to actually see them in about 20 minutes when they're all golden and uh, crispy. So we're, what we're going to do now is begin with our tempura. And there's three really key factors here with the tempura. So one is that you want really sifted light sort of flour. I've sifted this twice just to remove any lumps. Um, second, you want boiling hot oil and then ice cold water for the tempura batter itself. Now we'll get going and begin with our egg. And what we've got here is a pair of chopsticks. And now we'll just gently mix that together until the egg yolk and egg white are barely sort of mixed. And this is quite a gentle sort of delicate process. Alrighty, so we've got our one cup of ice cold water. We're gonna add that to the egg. And then we'll add our one cup of sifted flour. Now again, with this batter, it's just gentle movement with the chopsticks. It's okay if it's lumpy, you don't wanna work it too much but we're just sort of trying to incorporate that. That mixture is about done, that's our tempura. We'll just double check our oil. Our oil is piping hot, so that's what we're looking for. And now we'll grab our whiting and our batter and we'll head over and begin cooking the fish. Um, what we're gonna do is drop that into the tempura and make sure it gets a nice even coating and then straight into the hot oil. Let any excess sort of drip off and then gently into the oil. So now it's important not to actually overcrowd the pan. As you can see there, sizzling away nicely, but if you add too many fish, it, what will happen is that oil will drop temperature and that's when it starts to really seep into the fish. Alrighty, so our whiting's ready to turn, nice and golden brown. 
So those whiting are perfect now. Just drain as much oil as you can. And what we'll do is we'll pat that dry once this one's finished. How good does that look? That's our, you know, takeaway Friday night special, all done at home with fish we've caught ourselves. I'm really looking forward to this one. Alrighty guys, that's our three components done. Our fish, we've grabbed our tartare sauce from the fridge, and now we just grab our thick cut potatoes. How good do they look? They're nice, thick, they're crispy, they've got that golden brown texture, you can smell the thyme coming through, just like your everyday Friday night favourite. Start plating up, I reckon we might grab a good dollop of our tartare sauce and put that in a ramekin. Now we'll grab a good portion of this fish. Now we'll just grab our potato. Do these guys in a little bit of a stack. They look awesome, nice and crispy. We'll just put our tartare sauce on top. We'll give the fish a good sprinkling of salt. Some fresh dill for garnish. And then with any good seafood, and especially fish and chips, we'll give that a squeeze of lemon. And there you have it guys, Friday night tradition, cooked at home, caught out by ourselves, a tempura whiting with thick cut potato chips and a homemade tartare sauce. This one's gonna be delicious.